It's just spam. All right, cool. Ignoring them. And let's get this episode recorded so we can get on to uh, Donuts United. Hola, como vai, amigos? My name is Arturo, and I am trying to become a Brazilian hero. Hero, hero. That's too bombastic. We'll scale it back next time. Point is, our featured match today is the start of the Paraná State Championship against PSTC. Again, we're expected to do well in the state championship as we have in years past. Because we have improved the squad in advance of our arrival in the second division, we had better do well. So you see, our junior Timbo is the lucky trialist who have been given a contract offer. He came in under 2,000, which is good. That's what I want to see for my players right now. So we can't really afford much more because again, all the money that we bleed on a daily basis. But under two grand for a starting attacking uh, midfielder is pretty darn good, and that's a good pickup for us. If it holds, and he says yes, I was hoping, hoping, hoping to have him signed in time for today's match. Sadly, that is not to be. Oh well, there are worse things in the world. I mean, yeah, Idmar is injured, and that's pretty darn bad, which means Tomas is going to start. We don't have any subs who are tagging midfielders. Uh, Tomas, you're in. You're starting over there, Victor Jufo. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So, again, there are worse things in the world. I'm sure we'll survive. I'm sure. Anyway, how has the season been going, or the preseason, I should say? Well, we got rid of Prosper Kofi. That has been done, thank goodness. He is gone. Out to Garante Geta for 5.25. And we've also been sending people out on loan to make more room. To try and get some salary space free. Depau off to Academica. Avalado Moser is a new gen. We don't care. Guga de Santa Clara and Angelo de Juventud. Frees up a decent bit of capital there. 1.4. 120. 1.4. So 2.8. 2.9-ish. So that's pretty good. Frees up enough space for us to spend 2,000 to get the likes of uh, Junior Timbo. And, of course, on the other end, we brought in, you saw before, Diogo Campos, Matias Menzes, and Renan Foguinho has officially been brought in. We are trying to move Jumar still. The offers that have come in have been insultingly low for Jumar's value. It is, however, a salary dump, and it is 6.5 a week that we do need to get rid of, considering we have Diogo Roque, who's just as good, if not better, on 2,000 a week cheaper. So that is our goal. To get Diogo Roque to replace Jumar and have Jumar sent off to get that salary off the books. Because as you know, we still uh, tend to bleed money fairly regularly. We can't keep relying on TV and solidarity payments to bail us out. Though let's be honest, we likely will have to. As for the team. As you saw probably in the squad overview, we are dealing with a little bit, just a little bit. Injury and suspension issues, though I am convinced that after a pretty good offseason, we should be good to go to start the Paranasi Championship. So as long as everything holds together, this will be more or less a starting lineup. Obviously, we'll try and change those attacking players. Tomas will be coming off the bench. He won't be starting unless he just, you know, absolutely blows our socks off and uh, learns that attacking midfield position faster than we thought was possible. Right now, he's still just accomplished. He's become a lot better to be fully ready to go to play that position. Hopefully, he will be by the time... It becomes relevant. And now, those of you with eagle eyes may have noticed, uh, I'm also in charge of Canada now. I can't remember if I applied or not, but they offered me the job. I unlocked the national service achievement. So, yeah, am I going to say no to my country of birth? Absolutely not. Who knows? Maybe we can import some Canadians, put them on the team, and give them the minutes they so desperately need. Who knows? Blend the Canadian and Brazilian hero mentalities together. As it stands right now, though, all that matters is getting a result against PSTC to start the season off on the right foot. We have the players to do so. Yes, I realize we are lacking fitness and subs. Such is life. Not like a good suspension and injury crisis to start things off. And no contests. Well, let's hope. Let's hope with our standard 4 2 3 one narrow up the gut approach. A 4 2 one 3 or perhaps 4-3-3 if you want to think of it that way. I think 4 2 one 3 is a little more accurate. From PSTC. Well, let's see what happens. I agree, Joninho. Always good for that. Uh, I am expecting a win. Show me what you can do. Win, please. Make with the winning. Do the winning things. Thank you. And away we go. It's an away match to start the season off. 
Luis Carlos and Ferguson for PSTC in their blue kits. Londrina in their white away kits. Luis Ramon with a clumsy looking challenge to start things off. And we're off on the right foot already. Are we on key extended? We're on extended, thank goodness. Lucas Ramon. To Ray. It's developed so well. So how about that? Tomas keeps it in play. Well done by the youngster. Finds Zatino out for a corner. Tomas showing well early doors here. Uh, it's well dealt with. Short passing play. Yeah, we'll be fine. Nitinho. Oh, that's a lovely looking free kick, but it bounces off the top of the bar. Not lovely enough. Touch lower and the scoring's open. Nitinho, another free kick. Falls into the mixer just wide by Tomas. PSC's here to defend in numbers. Well, I should hope so. Matheus Menezes. Lucas Ramon. Ray. Victor Yufo. Nitinho. Jumar, Ray, Tomas, Patrick brought down, it's a penalty! And a yellow clear as day penalty with a body check on Patrick. Stepping up to take the kick. Will be Netinho. Oh, easy as you like. Freezes the goalkeeper. That could have been a disaster had he not hit that with a, you know, a little more pace. But still, the goal's a goal. Well taken by Natinho. Keeper guesses wrong. Oh, it's a lovely placed shot. Upper corner. Even if he guessed the right way, there's no hope he picks that out. Unless he uh, is picking it out of the back of the net. Set piece defended there. Carlos Augusto. Nobody deals with the second ball. And their first shot of the game is on target and in the back of the net. Everything was going so well. Well, he, well defended there initially. Nobody picks up Carlos Augusto properly. Both Tomas and who else is guilty there? Who's the guilty party? Tomas and Netinho. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta be better on defense. They're happy to defend now. I'll bet they are. Silvio. Jumar. Run to this. In a good position. Nobody's marking Jumar. There's the cross. Patrick's header over the bar. Or past the bar, according to the commentator. Chardiel, Netinho, Jumar, oh, Jumar, 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 you gotta hit the target, buddy, you got to hit the target. Netinho, Victor Yufo, Xiao Carrer, Saraceni. Good job by Jumar, good marking there, wouldn't anyone love to buy him? Come on, teams out there watching, wouldn't you want to buy... That kind of quality on your defensive line. He's quality. He costs an arm and a leg, but he's quality. Patrick now on the counter. Tomas. Good ball to throw for Lucas Ramon. There's the cross. Netinho's header! So close. Side netting only. Uh, play direct, you think? You know, I was like, yeah, we'll get himself a yellow. That was fast. Cerceni. Cleared by Silvio. Second effort, though. De Lucas finds the back of the net. That's their second goal on their second shot on their second set piece. That's a problem. Set piece is killing us here. Silvio does well to clear it. Nobody follows up. And there's a lot of ball watching as De Lucas puts it past Josiel. Not good. Victor Yufo. Sips around his man and can't hit the net. Now this is not the best defensive showing of Londrina. And considering that we are of the score one, one more than you style of team. That does not bode well if we can't score to match them. Tomas, what can the youngster do? He's already on a guaranteed transfer at the end of this season. We've got to make the most of him now. Patrick brings it under control. Blocked. Through Yufo. That'll be a corner. Netinho. Cleared. See, why can't we do that? 
Ray. Still Londrina though. Matheus Menezes. Ray. Victor Yufo. Lucas Ramon is offside, surely, and indeed. Good header by Patrick. Fortunately, the service was from an offside position. Come on, boys. A goal before half. To make it level going into the break would be great. But it's Zalukas getting into a good position. Lucas Ramon runs him out of space, and Etinho will try and get under this, and he will. No one ahead of him, though. Come back the other way, come PSTC. Saraceni. Papel. Chaucarer. Good clearance there. And Netinho. Can he spring Patrick? He will. It's a good ball. Patrick. Tomas. Brought down. Second effort is cleared. Good looking attack here from Londrina. Can they capitalize? Patrick shot his buck. Netinho is blocked. Ball is free. It's out for a corner. 14 to 2 are the shots. Only one has been on target. And it was the penalty. Not good enough. Ray. Tomas. Lucas Ramon. Looking for Patrick. That header's in the back of the net. Nicely done from Patrick. It's a goal against his former club, no less. And this time, the Lucas Ramon assist is onside. And we are back on level terms. Battering on that door all match. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Does not seem a fair representation of the effort that's been put in on the attacking front. Not thrilled at all. To see our big defensive signing, Matheus Menezes. Not uh, performing. I'm not sure how we're winning this one. Although I have a sense. Disappointed. Sort it out. All right. Let's try that again. Victor Yufo. Nitinho. So it's basically like the first half never happened. We're level. We got 45 minutes to play. Our passing completion rate is 86%. We are absolutely tiki-taka-ing uh, them to death. Minus the part where they're not dying. You need to die. In a sports sense, please. Not in an actual sense, because that would be tragic. Tomas. Lucas Ramon. Patrick. No. Tomas blocked two times. Victor Yufo on target, finally. Hey, we put another shot on target that didn't go in the back of the net. Claudio Elias will go the other direction. Schalkerer. Not even close. Lucas Ramon. Silvio. Jumar. Netinho. Patrick offside, I think. Yes, indeed. Diel, good clearance there. Natinho tries to flick it on, but there's nobody ahead of him. Saraceni. They've been content to bunker all day, and it's helped them to a two-all draw on set pieces. So Lucas saved by Josiel, and this time Lucas Ramon is there. Look at that. They got a shot on target that didn't go in the back of the net. All right. We're at the hour mark. They just made a sub. Tomas is running out of gas. I think we need to be a little trickier here. We're going to push these guys into wide positions. See what happens. Now we're going to turn Victor Ufo into a supportive attacking mid. We're going to change the flavor of the attack a little bit here. Patrick starting to wind down. We're going to reinforce the one and the only of Valmir. Show us what you got, Valmir. And Tomas gets himself a lecture, but no yellow. All right. 
out. Uh, 65 minutes in. Netinho. Valmir. Jardiel. To Valmir. Ray! Saved by Thomas! It's a good effort, actually, from Ray. Very nice. Netinho. Looking centrally. Lots of white kits there, but none able to get ahead to the ball. Victor Yufo. Netinho. Gives it away to Falcone. And that could be a problem. Instead, he just... Tosses, uh, is there an injury or something I wasn't aware of there? Who can say? Point is, we need to make up a substitution, and Matthias Menezes has not impressed. So, Nick, shore things up. If you please. Uh, anything else I need to do here? I can pull one of Ray or Jumar and bring on another striker, like, say, a Diogo Campos type. And I'll probably do that in the 80th if we still don't have the result we want. I think it's an early lecture. Jumar. No, it's okay. Jumar will be coming off the pitch. No need to worry there. Enrique. Set pieces of what are doing us, but that's a good clearance by Jardiel. And now Victor Yufo is off to the races. Victor Yufo to Valmir. Netinho clear and open on the left. Ball goes to Jumar. To Netinho. Netinho! That's what we wanted to see. Netinho gets his second. 3-2. A deserved lead. Finally. Oh, that seemed like that goal would never arrive. But it did, and I'm very happy. And because of that, I no longer need to bring on the second striker. I think we bring on a fresh defensive midfielder and see this game out. Great strike, Benetino, his second. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's uh, make a substitution here. It'll be Renan Foguinho. He's a regista, if you can believe it. What do we bring on Igor Pimentel? I think we're on Pimentel. He's a no-nonsense, stay-at-home, ball-winning defender. That's what I like to see. No nonsense. Just see this game out, Igor. All right. Oh, Lucas Ramon. All my fullbacks and players getting cards. Well, at least our reputation as a card machine has not changed. And now as PSTC push forward, they expose themselves to our attack, which is good. Tomas. Victor Yufo. Ray. Oh, Ray, you gotta hit the target. Or if someone's gonna, you know, maybe latch onto that run. I mean, that was a good-looking ball floated to the back post, but nobody was there to head it in. Meanwhile, Zalukas. Intercepted by Jardiel, and Netinho is away on the left. Ray. Victor Yufo. Good-looking ball for Netinho. First-time cross. Nobody there. Igor Pimentel, Netinho, keeps it in, another cross, cleared, the crosses are there, the response is that isn't, and that's a weird looking back pass, and it's out for a corner, Netinho, near post run by Silvio is blocked, and Joao Carrer will clear, only as far as Igor Pimentel, who's looked sharp in his appearance so far, Netinho checks his run, Ray, out wide to Tomas. It's going to be a goal kick as it banked off of Tomas and out. Two minutes of stoppage time. Played half of the first. Igor Pimentel. See, this is why you bring on your no-nonsense ball winners. And then hope somebody doesn't do something stupid like that in the attack core. Lucas Ravon, though, heads it out to safety. We've played the first minute of stoppage time. Zelukas. Uh, I don't know what that was, but I will gladly milk that. Ray. Valmir. Lucas Ramon. Ray. Tomas. Lucas Ramon. Netinho looking for the hat trick. He won't get it there. Victor Yufo. Back heel to Valmir. Well defended, though. And that'll go up for another throw. That should kill the game off. And it was a close one. PSTC gave a very good account of themselves on defense. But ultimately, Londrina able to assert their dominance. 
and came away with a deserved three points. PSTC can be proud of their efforts, though, and they should be. They did quite well for themselves. Ultimately, they got the win. They start the season off on the right foot with three points. Level with Operario, Coritiba, Atletico Paranense, and the competition's namesake, Parana. Next time on Brazilian Hero, we will be at the halfway point. The Parana State Championship. We play a whopping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matches. And so our halfway point will be our home match against Senorte. We'll then finish off against Paranabe. And hopefully have a nice easy run to the semifinals. We'll see if that happens next time against Senorte on Brazilian Hero. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends these videos on YouTube, and don't forget to join us in Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash stores, where all these episodes are recorded live, and Twitch chat can say things like, I'm just a card machine, and I don't work for nobody but me. That probably deserves some Arturo bucks for acceptable, punacious humor. But until next time, my name is Arturo, and I'm trying to become a Brazilian hero. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next time against Cianorte.